Hello everyone! Hello, Welcome back to Dingoes and Dice. And everyone is quiet. Again. Hello! <laughs> Waiting Aloha. to be introduced. Waiting Hello. to be introduced. Hello. <laughs> yes. Hope the morning to be a happy St. Patty's Day. <laughs> yes, it is St. Patty's Day. I forget that. Yeah, Actually, I it was yesterday for us. Remembered. For these time travellers it is. Jeez. <laughs> Hello, Becky's in the chat. <laughs> Hello. So, yes, we are continuing on from our last stream, which was, what, over a month ago? Yeah, quite some time ago. Too long. Too long. Well, over a month. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Um... Crimson is our GM for today. D uh, sorry, I forgot. Do you prefer DM or GM? I forgot to ask. Interchangeable terms. I usually go by DM, though. DM? Okay. So Crimson's our He's GM. A dungeon Master. <laughs> and I like I'm... to see my rep pleasure room. Shush. <laughs> and I'm also joined by my lovely and not so lovely companions. They're not lovely, it's Chris. <laughs> And oh, that's the truth. I won't wait for that. Jeez, thanks, thanks. <laughs> so I am Nantashu, the druid, and I am joined by... Who wants to go next? Might as well go in, in line, so Vlad's next. Hello. I am... Uh, hello. I am joining you as... Rev Ravina. Rathina. Yeah, you I... can't even pronounce your character's <laughs> name. God damn it, boy. <laughs> Rathina. 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 I've been... It's been a little bit. <laughs> it's like and Athena, but like... with an R. Yes. Yep. But, yes, I am... I am playing the character of Rathina. <laughs> a... Well, a... Colorful character. So. And we shall learn more as we go on. It's one way to describe her. <laughs> I guess next is Tobias. So I'm playing Tobias. He's a three foot, uh, what was it? I was a uh, three foot eight inch dwarf with two different measurements there. Um, he likes to get drunk and whoremonger, and that's basically all he does. He is a paladin, um, but he is completely useless in anything to do with combat. As we saw last stream. But he can out talk a friggin' or friggin' raiding party. Yes. He's also not a dwarf, he's a gnome. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, he's a gnome. That's it, he's a gnome. <laughs> nope. Bad. Yeah, the the dwarves are like four foot tall. Right, sorry, he's a he's a gnome, sorry. Um and he's a bit too drunk to remember if he's a gnome or a dwarf. He has a identity crisis, it seems. <laughs> This dwarf doesn't know dwarvish. What the hell? <laughs> <You're right. laughs> he, he will. If he has a fish, he'll give it a go. I have a name. I don't remember how to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and our last character. Um. Hello. I I play Tristel, the the cleric. And Pyro. Who loves fire? Yes. I. <laughs> I burn things. <laughs> she sounds way too innocent to be in our team, and then suddenly she goes, and I burn things. I said, oh, okay, so she fits in fine. Yeah. That's just the thing. The cleric is just a guy for the pyromania. <laughs> well, speaking of which... It's not evil to burn things if the fire is holy, right? Holy fire? Yes, of course. <laughs> And I pass over the matches and uh, Jerry can right away. No. <laughs> Yay! <Don't only> begin. <laughs> well, over to you, Crimson. Right, well, as we move on from the one shot that we prepared last time, we move into the campaign proper, Horde of the Dragon Queen. Ooh, Chinese. Yep. And that will uh, require me to start uh, moving some pages around and getting to things. Doing what you eh. need to do. Yep. Alright, so. Yes. 
now we can get now I've got things set up, we can move here. What uh once I scroll over far enough. Um to answer yeah, Warris's question as well, we would most likely be doing a call of Cthulhu thing as well. Uh, I know there's a guy we know in real life who actually does it. Um who might be able to help us out with that as well. That might be the person who you're talking to right now in the chat. That's David. Are you talking about David? You work, David. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, <laughs> David. This is hey, David. David. <laughs> I had no idea. Fair enough. I was just talking I about you. I just how long that yeah. would take to click. <laughs> click. Click. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. There it is. <laughs> there it is. All right, I'm a bit slow. Hold the one. So, yes, I, I would love to actually play that game. Um, yeah, that'd be good. We'll have to organize a stream for it. Yes, and one thing I always like to do is like every couple levels, like every four or five levels or so, I, uh, I like to give players the opportunity to uh, to battle it out amongst themselves. Because that's always fun. Like sometimes you have arguments, but you're in the party together and you don't want to actually hurt anybody. So you end up just getting built up frustration. So it's a good way to vent stress and to just see who's stronger at what point. All right. Well, first things first, uh, everyone should make sure that their characters are at full health. They have all their spell slots. My guy's drunk okay. and smelly already, so he is now good. I think I'm all set. Oh, and he also has a bad back from carrying, carrying all you fuckers everywhere. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what have you put on your profiles, all these symbols? Well, the, well, one is a bad back because I'm carrying you guys. The other one is a drinking thing, and the other one is a smelly thing because he smells because he's drunk. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> and right. suddenly I regret everything. And a century tarot, <laughs> and one of them, and one of them, and one of them. Right. Okay. This sorry. is exactly um, the definition of too much power for any one man to have. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me emoticons, I'm going to use the emoticons. <laughs> My status <Right>. markers. <laughs> Them too, alright. Okay, I, I'll behave. Thank you. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> behaving? It won't last long. Whatever I wonder. I found an edit token. Oh, jeez. I wouldn't mess with that. <laughs> oh. So I shouldn't put an aura on? You should definitely not do that. <laughs> okay. Ooh, no music's attention. amped up. Alright, I'll be quiet now. Music on. Alright, game face on. Game face on. Yeah. They seem to be lost in That's... the middle of a wood and no idea where to go. <laughs> No, I've just set you on the map proper right now. I'm just getting everything set up while I've got the fog of war going. Okay. So, a brief introduction into the uh, into the environment itself. You're all in the uh, in the vast, ever uh, ever present continent of Ferum, which some of you might be familiar with. Currently, along the uh, the length of land known as the Sword Coast named such because it is the, the coast of the Sea of Swords, obviously. The town of Greenest, where you are headed, was founded by the halfling Darva Scatterheart, a rogue who fancied herself the Queen of the Greenfields. Scatterheart passed away without ever achieving that level of evidence, however, but her town grew into a thriving community. The success is not surprising, as it is the only town by the Boldoon Trail, the most direct road between the eastern cities of the Dragon Coast, Cormir, and Sembia, with the coastway running south to the great cities of Amun, Tether, and Far Kalimshan. The trade caravans that pass through Greenest bring gold to the town's merchants and craftsfolk, and Governor Nighthill runs the town of I think I think our DM just died. Crimson? <laughs> Mid speech. This is this is this is a this is a shitty forest. It even killed our DM. <laughs> Good God, we're we're fucked. <laughs> Not worse than the last time. Yeah, I think Crimson's. Um, <laughs> he's just <this> crashed. 
We did it. We're good. Don't leave us alone like that in the dark, spooky forest. If the forest can kill our DM, yeah, we've got no chance. Oh crap! Oh, I can. Hang on, I might be able to. Pick. We can hear you now, though. You're good. We're off to a rousing start. <laughs> All we need now is some marshmallows, and then we'll be good on the back. <laughs> yeah, there we go. What's a what's a what's a ground zero session without technical difficulties? <laughs> exactly right. right. Technical difficulties? You mean yeah. what's a nerds of Oz stream without technical difficulties? Really? That is very true. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Right, so how much did I, uh, how much was caught out of that? Um, um about the coast we're up to. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Once more, with feeling. <clears throat> yes, uh, the town of Greenest, founded by a halfling, uh, Darva Scatterheart, a rogue who fancied herself the queen of the greenfields. Uh, she passed away without ever achieving that level of eminence, but her town grew into a thriving community. Its success is not surprising, so since Greenus is the only town of any size astride the Olduin Trail, the most direct road between the eastern American coast, Cormir, and Sembia, with the coast way running south to the great cities of Amun, Heather, and the far Kalimshan. The trade caravans that pass through Greenus bring gold to the town's merchants and craftsfolk, and Governor Nighthill runs the town at the behest of its inhabitants. The four of you have decided to form a sort of makeshift adventuring and journeying party, pointing that your skill sets overlap in a way that complements itself quite well. On your way to Greenest, your banter, idle chatter, and uh, overall progression was halted momentarily and then immediately hastened, as the sight of large plumes of smoke from the direction of the city broke over the line of trees to your right. That would be to the east of you, for those who were... <laughs> to those who cared. <laughs> this plume of smoke, however, was soon uh, accompanied by a l very, very loud sound that seemed to echo throughout acres and acres of land. You're not quite sure what that sound could have been, but it seemed large and it seemed furious. You all hastened your way quickly upon, upon the town, only to discover that it was wreathed in flames, buildings collapsing upon themselves, people running and screaming, panic in the street. With that... We will reveal the area. Woo! Oh, dead body! I'm gonna check in for loot. Ah, oh, there's a dead cat too. It's sad, the place is on fire. But there's, there's like loot and stuff. Alright, I'm thinking we check out check out the house first. It wasn't me, and it wasn't the Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't me this time. <laughs> oh yes it was. I can see that freaking farm on fire later. You got bored. <laughs> Sorry, Crystal. I was, I was with you! <laughs> sure you were. Sure you were. You were, you were way too quiet during that whole thing. Um, so, are we going to check the houses? Are you? I'm going to check this house. Alright! Uh, yes, this house is uh, in, in ill repair. It's still standing. The door, however, is broken off the hinges. It uh, seems to have avoided catching on fire, but there is some serious damage to the sides of the house. The windows are all broken. The door, as I've said, is off the hinges. Things inside are scattered about, cl cloth ripped and torn. I'll have you make a investigation check. Okay. Crimson, could you um, turn the music down a tad, please? Wait, oh, um... yeah, of course, sorry. That's okay. Remember to do this. I think you use your character sheet for it. How do you bring up your character sheet again? I was trying to figure that out before. <laughs> uh, it should be it should be in the journal tab. You just click your character and it should Ooh. bring up the sheet. Uh, if you click the uh, yeah, there's an icon on the sheet you can click that'll 
pop it out into a separate window, which you can bring it over to a second monitor if you have a setup like that. Is that what I need to do? There we go, I rolled 11. Yes, it is. It's 11. Okay. Uh, yeah, this... Yeah. This seems like something outside the building definitely shook this place up pretty badly, although the torn cloth doesn't seem to be torn by glass. You're kind of curious as to what could have caused this. It was either done beforehand or afterwards, but it definitely wasn't caused by whatever set this place ablaze. The town, not this particular building. I, I knock on the remainder of the door. You, you knock on it, it kind of creaks very sadly. I'm just going to be polite before I enter the house. And I... Is there anything useful in the house? I shouldn't even get that. Mm. I I can just imagine the house collapsing right on Tobias right now. Sorry. Don't cheat you. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm not that evil. That's my brother. <laughs> Besides, even if it collapsed, it wouldn't go and crush Tiny. Yeah, I'm, I'm Tiny. Yeah. I can squeeze myself out of there. <laughs> He's too small to crush. Exactly right. He just jumped through the window. Yes. If he can reach the window, I mean. Well, I've got my... I've got a chair I can stand on. I'll ask his, best option, his best option would be to crawl out a mouse hole, but hey. So I take it there's nothing in there to really discover? A bunch of busted, broken furniture, torn claws, uh, cupboards and uh, cabinets opened, uh, tables overturned. Basically, it looks like it's just been ransacked from the inside and out. Alright, I'm going to leave. Let's keep going. And while that's going on, I'm going to actually uh, investigate near the fire. Up over here. Okay. Alright, Crystal, I imagine you're going with her. Because fire. I'll just <laughs> hang back a bit and observe from a distance. Yep. Is this, is this a kitten over here? Uh, the remains of one. Can I use my lay on hands to revive it and take it as a pet? No. You can certainly, kid. you can certainly try. <laughs> I use my lay on hands on the dead kit. All right. How many points? Um, how many can I use? Have a total of five that you can allocate. I'll use all five. <laughs> what if we need? I'm going to have an undead kitten pet, and you can't stop me. Alright, I'll have you roll a religion check. Okay. Bullshit. Um, let's try that. That's pretty good. <laughs> Fourteen, okay. Yes, as you place your hands and close your eyes and try to focus the uh, divine energies to heal this wounded animal, uh, the light floods from your hands into the into the body of the creature, and as the light fades and dims down, nothing happens. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but that's pretty much it. All right. Meanwhile, Rathina, Rathina is um, investigating the fire. Okay. Yes. Uh, what are you investigating it uh, for? Uh, it seems to be like a. a heavy smoke uh, to the north of uh, where I'm to. So I'm kind of uh, wondering what's going on there. Uh, to the north? Uh, since Crystal's with you, I'll have you make a perception check with advantage. Okay. <laughs> with an advantage? Yes. Thank goodness for that advantage. <laughs> I was going to say, it was a two otherwise. <laughs> hey, that adds up to 20? Uh, eight, with an 18, uh, you, you almost miss it. The smoke is just too much for you to see through, but then Crystal just kind of taps you on the shoulder and points a little bit uh, further to your right, and you look over just in time 
to catch the glimpse of something massive moving through the smoke. Mm. You only make out a general shape, but it seems to be airborne. Okay, I am moving back <laughs> ever so slowly to here. Um, perhaps I could do a nature check, just to determine what the beast is. You're more than welcome to try. Uh, I mean, it's a flying creature flying through smoke and everything's on a fire. No idea what it could be. <laughs> we don't know that for certain yet. You haven't seen my monster manual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well played. Um, how do I do nature check again? I'm trying to find it. Uh, you nature just. It. Sorry. It should be nature on the skill checklist. It should be near the ability scores. Alright. Sixteen. Okay. Scene. Um, based on what, based on the loud roar you heard earlier and the destruction cause and the sheer size of that thing, there's a few things it could be. It's too early to tell, but you feel like maybe it could be something that's not nat. It's not exactly natural, or if it is, it's very, very rarely seen. All you know is that this is something massive and exotic. Okay. And dangerous. Tiger with wings. Tobias, what if we yeah. told you about your drunken benders? <laughs> hey, just, I'm, I'm going to loot the body, by the way, that I'm looking at right now. I mean, so I'm going to check for a pulse in his pockets. <laughs> okay. Uh, go for it. Uh, you're trying to check for a pulse? No, or just your pockets. Make a sleight of hand check. <laughs> okay. Oh god, I've got one point in that. It's not gonna work. Let's find out. Ah! Ah, that's too bad. Okay, uh, what is everyone's passive perception? Um, are you asking for the number by it, or is it, uh, what it yes, is? Yes, the pass the passive perception is at the bottom under the skill checks. Uh, ten. Um, passive wisdom, is that what you mean? Uh, passive wisdom yep. perception. Yep, yep, sixteen. Fuck. Alright. And Elena's is fifteen. Okay. So, uh, Radhika is still facing the other way, slowly backing away at this time. Uh, but, uh, Nana and Crystal, you see you see him, uh, check this, hold this guy's wrist up, and, uh, seems to be checking for a pulse, and, and while he's checking for a pulse, he's, like, counting, like, one, two, three, as he slowly reaches his hand into his pockets. <laughs> <laughs> three, four, copper piece, six... <laughs> <laughs> Seven, half a button. <laughs> cool, so I found a button, half a button, and a copper piece. I'm good with that. No yes, half a, yes, half a very melted <laughs> button. That's good. I can use that later on. I'm sure you'll find a use for it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we move on? Is there anything else here that might have information about what what happened? Mm. Uh, are you are you saying that in character? I am saying that in character. Oh, uh, well, oddly enough, one quick question: uh, Nana and Rodina, are you in this house? On this house? Um. I didn't realize it was a house, so I guess I'm inside it. <laughs> yeah, that was a house. Oh, that right. is on fire. It kind of looked like it was a square of some kind, like a uh, an area of a field. So, 
<laughs> I guess they eat that house now. Okay, we're inside. Yeah, house. they're. <laughs> well, as you, yes, well, as you, uh, as you wonder that, it, uh, you actually do hear uh, a commotion, a commotion getting closer to you from outside. Okay. As a, uh, as a series of, uh, as a series of figures start to, start to approach, and I have to mark these. So give me one moment. While you do that, I'm just going to go check this guy's pulse as well. <laughs> pulse, is that what we're calling pockets now? He's <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this time, you, this time you actually believe he's checking this one's pulse. <laughs> you find a... Uh, you find a black lump of what you assume might have been a piece of bread. Yum. <laughs> yes, and uh, the commotion does get closer to you, and you are uh, you are all able to see uh, the figures of. Three small children rushing forward, and a uh, a human male limping behind them. As uh, as a feminine voice from behind them says, "Run! Keep going! Keep running!" And uh, behind them, a uh, a woman with very tousled uh, brown hair uh, is facing the other way, uh, walking backwards before she uh, turns around and follows after these people, uh, spear in hand, uh, a very raggedy matted looking spear, like it's barely usable, uh, come rushing in. Okay, okay go from... for the children first, I'll be easy to defeat. Christopher. <laughs> I mean, Tobias, no. <laughs> Not the threat. <laughs> and behind them, Tobias, uh, you and, and Nan at this point, you see uh, what's following them is a is an onslaught of uh, of of tiny figures about the size of Tobias, but with uh, sm with horns, lar uh, pronounced snouts, snarling, gnashing teeth, covered in scales. Yeah. You see a horde of kobolds chasing after them. All right, grab the children, use them as a human shield. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay. So we should we should probably try and protect the villagers, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, All right. So I will probably move in first then in this direction. How many moves can I make actually before I do? <laughs> well, first things first. I will need for all of you to roll initiative. Okay. And, uh, and to put yourselves, wow, uh, on the initiative <laughs> order. Holy shit, someone gets a hit five times each turn. Um... <laughs> no, she just reacted the first. And she's from inside the building, so <laughs> that was I impressive. My initiative base is one. That's bullshit. Wait, I don't think that's exactly <laughs> <correct. laughs> Alright, and to put yourselves on the initiative order, you click on your token and... And then go to your sheet and click initiative, and that'll put you on the turn order automatically. Oh. I, I need to roll initiative for these people and these kobolds, so that's going to be a lot of rolling over here. There you go. I think I did that properly that time. I'm still a two. Damn it. <laughs> that's right. Will you guys what? have fun? I'm going to sit back here and chill. Just <laughs> checking this guy's pulse for a while. Sure. What did you say was uh, the way to uh, get, add yourself to initiative? Uh, you click your token so that it's selected, and then you click the uh, you click the initiative box on the uh, on the character sheet. Uh, okay. 
still seems to not want to be adding it. Uh, all right. Well, I'll uh, I'll add. You've you've rolled already. I'll add you to the order uh, <laughs> myself. And I'll also have to roll for crystal, but I'll get that to done in just a second here. Need to get all these cobalt sorted. We should probably get the villagers to run into that building to the south. And then we can just bar the door. <laughs> and let it, them burn to their deaths. Well, that building's not on fire, but it will stop the... That means the cobalt's are um, funneled. Do the bottleneck to get in there and I can kind of stand there. That's all of them. And then... Crystal. Wow, well, 17 for Crystal, that's unheard of. <laughs> Normally it's a negative three. Wait, what? <laughs> that's only due to cannon fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, and uh, Rathena, we will uh, add you to the turn order here. And you rolled a 22. Yeah. Yep. Do you want to send, lend some of that to me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Not now when it's the work. I'll, I'll send you one. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, now we'll sort this. Okay, so. Let me just freehand a thing here. So we'll say that for the purpose of this, there is a door right there, that building you were in. <laughs> okay. And a blown out window here, 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 and here. And what about the building to the south of the villagers? Uh, to the south of the villagers? Uh, the long uh, one. Uh, yeah, that one is, uh, oh, the, the brick one or the one that looks more like a barn? Uh, the one that looks like a giant rectangle. It's a barn. Um, with two roofs. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, and you can, uh, you can ping it. You go to a slick move and you just click and hold. They'll let it oh, lose sorry, a that one. pulse. Of it. That one? Yeah. Uh, that one, the, uh, that one seems to be a barn, but, uh, surprisingly, it's the only building that is relatively untouched. Uh, entrances and exits? Uh, there is two uh, large wooden doors at the front, one of which is uh, one of which is wide open. Doesn't seem to be anything inside that you can see from this angle. Is this spot, uh, is there a clear view to, uh, from where I am to here? Uh, from where you are to this cobalt? Yes. Uh, if you move about five feet up, I'll say you can have one. So one uh, square up and you can. One square? Okay. Yep. Then, from there, I will actually go and uh, use Eldridge Flat on this cobalt. Alright, go for it. Through the fucking window, that's one hell of a shot. Through the smoke. <laughs> oh, fuck. That'll oh, hit. <laughs> That'll hit. Roll damage. Okay. Fucking sniper. Oh, shit. Hey, uh... Hey, spell sniper is actually a thing she could be. <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's a feat for that, but we'll get to that in later things. Right. Four damage. Four damage. Yep. Uh, he is, uh... Yeah, through yeah through the smoke you see him snar you barely see his snarling form just like menacing and uh, giving his own kind of uh, breathy gaspy chuckle like <laughs> and then a and then a bolt of force just 
beams him in the side of the head. <laughs> 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 he's very, he's very, very visibly shaken. Still standing, but he did not like that. <laughs> oh, that was great. Love it. All right. All right. Anything else? You still have uh, about twenty-five feet of movement left. I think that since I went to attack from inside, I should probably move myself either to a better uh, view so that I could go and get a few more on the next turn, or move myself outside. Hmm. Yeah, in a burning house. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> Sounds like paradise to Crystal. I think, that, yeah, I'll probably move myself out to here. All right. That all? That is all. Okay. All right. This uh, this little uh, this little boy here just books it and manages to make it inside. <laughs> Now we start getting into some of these kobolds here. Okay. They are chasing. They are chasing these guys down. They're not. They don't move very fast, but they move fast enough to catch up to them. Oh no. Then we get to Crystal, as the kobolds start advancing on this uh, on this group of humans. What do you wish to do? <laughs> Can can I move closer? Uh, how much closer do you want to move? Um, in uh, between the druid and the. Yes, you have exactly enough movement to get you there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to use my crossbow. All right. And should be kobold nearest? Yes. Yes, and for those who weren't here last time, uh, <laughs> Elena can't actually use roll 20 on her device. It doesn't work, so I have to use it for her. She just tells me what she wants to do. And she's a pretty good job with the crossbow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, surprisingly. <laughs> she gets either a 20 or a 25,000. Where was that in the last campaign? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was just thinking of. I'm like, oh god. Why did it be four weeks late to that party? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it has its own days. <laughs> what the oh, hell? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so basically, that goes through and then fucking bends through the air and hits it fucking three times. <laughs> no, but it does. Pierce through both of its eyes perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> it is very dead. <laughs> very dead. I guess you can yeah, with it. Yeah, with it sickening. <laughs> Alright, I'm assuming a bonus action to reload. Yes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Uh, would have been his turn, but he's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next kobold up, I guess. <laughs> I managed to get just up to the commoner. Then she, in turn, uh, is going to attempt to make a stab at the kobold attacking the injured man with the... Uh, the rick the wreck uh just wrecked spear we'll see how that goes <laughs> how much movement is it per square uh five feet okay so 25 means i can make it five spots mm, yes Uh, does manage to hit. She, uh, yeah, she, yeah, he takes a bit of damage. He's still standing, though, but he, he's a bit pissed. Understandably. 
that'll bring us to Nana. Yes. I uh, I'm going to use I think I'll use fairy fire on the kobold behind the human. Um, how do I ping it again? Just uh, that one. That one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fairy fire affects a fifteen foot cube. So, how do you want to arrange that? Uh, is it centered on him? Is he in, like what square is he in? Like if it's a like if we think of it like a keypad with the top left square of the cube being uh, one, the lower right being nine. What square number is he in? Um. I would probably cast it over here, Larissa. They can get all three. Yeah, that's a good point. Shot. Though the two at the moment are the closest to the human, so. All right, and now for the flavor: is this green, blue, or purple? Because you can get that choice. <laughs> purple, of course. I was like, there's no choice there. It's going to be purple. <laughs> all right. So doesn't she have to move a little so that she's inside of it? Uh, yeah, she would have to move a little bit closer for that. Yep. I'm going to do it there a little bit higher? Or... I'm only going to get one in that box, though, aren't I? Uh, if you're putting it about there, that'll get some more. I'm just moving my map a bit. Okay. Yep, that's actually really good. I was going to get the other two, but yeah, actually, that'll probably work out better. At least we'll take out those ones. Yep, all right. So, I assume you move about uh, five, ten feet forward to get a better view? Yep. All right. And then we have... Uh, uh, go ahead and click on Fairy Fire in your spell book so that we can yep. see the description in the chat. Okay. Epic make dexterity saving throws. What is your spell save DC? Uh, spell save DC 14. All right. Pretty good for first level. See what they can do. Okay. Do I need to click anything else or? Uh, no. I okay. got this. Okay. It's 14. Uh, one of them failed. So we'll say this guy is the one affected. Mark him purple. <laughs> so he is now coated in a uh, shimmering, uh, brightly sparkling purple dot. Or like almost like purple glitter on him. Any attack rolls against him are now made with disadvantage. Or made with advantage. Yeah. Shiny. <laughs> the others are unaffected, however. Be sure to mark off your use spell slot. Yeah. All right. I will. Next. Yeah. Next would be a uh, a another uh, another one of these small ch children, a boy a bit older than the last. Uh, also rushes in and makes it inside. That will then bring us to the next kobold, who rushes out of this. One looking a bit confused as to why he, his friend is starting to grow to glow purple and moves <laughs> over to his fellow. <laughs> but then brings us to this child, a uh, a little girl who look who gets to the door and then looks and then looks back, just shouting, "Mommy!" Is just standing there waiting, petrified. And then more kobolds <laughs> moves up and actually has enough of space there to actually get an attack off or attempt to. Roll to one. So he misses, of course. <laughs> and then his friend over here runs up about as far as he can. Can't get much more than that. And then the 
limping person, uh, uh, clutching their injured uh, left leg, is <laughs> slowly trying to uh, back away cautiously and manages to just get about halfway between the child and the woman holding the spear. We have more kobolds, the last two. And they are moving... Down here. <laughs> they do not like Lurza, but they can't attack because they use their entire turn to move. <laughs> and bringing up the rear, we have time. <laughs> now I stop rummaging around in the guy's pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot you'd been doing that this whole time. Yeah, pretty much. Just searching for anything else other than bread. Um, so can I go on the same icon as someone else or not? Where to protect them? Uh, you are a gnome, so your size category is small. I will look up and see if that is possible for you. <laughs> I think that's a halfling thing, but I'm going to double check. Uh, that is a halfling thing, but I will say you could. Tr I'll say you could attempt to uh, to distract the kobold enough to the point where you're taking the blow. I'll just go there instead. Then that's five, <laughs> and I will javelin. Uh, I'll use my sword against this one. All right, uh, one-handed or two-handed. Um. We'll use two handed. Okay. Go ahead and roll an attack with advantage. Do the fairy fire. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. I might actually hit something this time. <laughs> but I might, if I can find out where attack is. Um, uh, should be about center of the character sheet. Oh, you mean I click on longsword? Yeah. Yep. Ah. Oh, thank fuck for yeah. that advantage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that'll hit. Roll damage. And damage. Roll really damage. That. Rolling damage. You click the word longsword underneath the numbers in the chat. Right, that's right. All right, and we'll use the second number because that's your d10. Add in your strength modifier. That's eight points of damage. Yeah, decapitated. <laughs> yeah, that tries. <laughs> yeah. He did! He did now. Bye bye, Mr. Cobalt. And now I attempt to check his pulse. <laughs> <laughs> the freaking Cobalt! He may have pockets somewhere, you never know. For a pouch. And always kept He's in a loincloth. <laughs> <Still>. <laughs> I don't think you want to check that pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... I found his coin purse! Oh, wait. <laughs> he only has two coins, apparently. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that's the end of my turn. Um, or do I have any sure moves left coins. I can make? Uh, you can move about five feet more if you want. Um, can I also throw something or not? Uh, no, that's more of an. That'd be more of an action. Right, I'll move there. All right. Uh, Rathina. Okay. I shall. With that, we've gone through the first round. Woo. I am gonna go up here. Or might we try and get that one? It's next. already been damaged from pillager. All right. Good. Yeah. Good job. You're thinking of your next move, which means that. Uh, Crystal, you're on deck. Start thinking of what you want to do. And then I shall be attacking this one. Are you sure? With Eldritch Blast. Go for it. Okay. Nah, goes off to the side. Doesn't hit him. Oof. Okay. And that shall be it for now because I am kind of limited. Yep. Yeah, level one. Yep. All right. Uh, oddly enough, it's the yeah, the 
that kobold sees a gnome coming up to him. He's about the same size as you, actually. And he's and he goes to he goes to swing at you with a dagger. You do not have your shield up currently, so that'll be what is your AC? Eighteen. Eighteen. So that'll be sixteen without the shield. Okay, he's gonna roll the swing at you, swing his dagger at you. Doesn't hit though. Oh yeah, that's right. All right, Crystal, you're up. Oh, like a butterfly. Um, I guess I'll fire. I guess I'll fire my crossbow at the nearest one again. All right. Uh... This one moves next. Yeah. If you want to shoot that one. Yeah, the one. Yeah, but see, that's called metagaming. Oh, is that not allowed? Nah, it's like thinking like outside of like you're thinking as your character, thinking as a player, thinking, oh, he goes next, I'll shoot him. You, you oh. should you, instead of that, it'd be more like a he, it'd be thinking like a, this thing is nearest to me, or this one is nearest to the guy I'm trying to protect. Like if you were in this situation, immediately, what your reaction would be? Okay, okay. Game as a game. Look at it as if you are your character, is the kind of thing. All right. No, I see. Yeah, though, I can see where you were coming from strategically, but try and keep a ha handle on that in yep. future. Yep. Okay, so that's a crossbow shot at the nearest kobold. Move up a little bit so you can see him. 13, that will hit. Yeah, and he is on one hit point, so don't even need to roll damage. He did. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, That's wait. two for Crystal. Yeah. Yeah, this, the spellcasters oddly have a tendency to have the highest kill count, especially wizards. Who knew with all that was the uh, area of effect spells? Yep. All right. So that'll bring us to the kobold next to the, uh, next to the spear wielder. Is going to attempt to attack her. Does not hit though. <laughs> and then it is her turn. And the one who just tried to attack her is going Can to I... uh, get uh, get poked at. Can I tell him to run away instead? Uh, you could use your reaction to tell her to run away. Uh, yeah, I'll tell her to run to the barn rather than attack. All right. Yeah, she uh, she does she does uh, she she continues to stab at this guy and actually hits him and uh, impales him. Oh God. And I will say, I'm sorry. I'll take that back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then just point and then just points the spear at uh, at another kobold next to her. Nana. Yes. Um. How many... Can I move next to... Um, to how do I ping again? <laughs> there you go, that one. Yeah, you could move up to him. Okay, and I will hit them with my quarter stuff. Alright. Are you activating Shillelagh? I assume you are. Um, yeah. So your bonus action cantrip lets you hit with your wisdom instead of your strength on your quarter oh, staff. Yeah, how do I do that again? Uh, it, you just you just do it. Your quarter staff should have wisdom as your modifier to hit and to damage with it already equipped. Okay. Which it does. All right. Unfortunately, that does miss. Bugger. All right. That will then bring us to this guy. Swing and actually hit. Uh, only does two points of damage, though. Which is enough to wound her. Uh, then the, uh, the child is still holding it. Still holding it uh, at the door. Screams, Don't hurt my mommy! And to uh, the as reaction, I go and uh, yell the, to the child to go and get inside. Alright, I'll have you roll a persuasion check. Eleven. Yeah, the the child just kind of stands there, shaking. Looks at you. Looks back to looks back to her mother. 
looks back and forth a couple times. And you can see the tears welling up in her eyes. And she and then she just turns around and rushes inside. Hey. Alright. Now it is the cobalt next to Larissa. And he's going to swing at you with his dagger. Of course. <laughs> what is your AC? Uh, 15. 15. That will miss. Awesome. Okay. This one comes up to Tobias. He's going to attempt to swing. Uh, it's a 19 to hit, so that's going to do it. Take three points of piercing damage. Takes me down to nine. Yep. I'm I'm good. <laughs> okay. Uh, that brings us down to the uh, to the limping individual who is able to get to the barn. And then disappears beyond the door. Uh, this kobold is dead. So tiny. Okay. Ravina, you're on deck. I'm going to swing at this one. Um, I'll do it with one handed, so I'll use my shield. Alright, pulling out the shield, switching to one handed, swing! Twelve, that just hits. Cool. Eleven points of damage, yeah, yeah. you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just hit yeah. by taking oh, off his head. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you carve him from shoulder to hip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, he and his one health are no longer at one health. <laughs> now I have some movement. <laughs> you do. Can I? I need to push that shield guy out of the way. I've killed. Um, Am I able to use some of my speed to push him out of the way or not? Uh, it's an action to push someone out of the, to try and push something, or you could use your attack and instead of attacking, try to push something. Okay. Uh, but that's fine. I will just um. Just move to there. Yep. All right, breathe in. Okay. First of all, I move myself to here. And then I attack this one with Eldritch Blast. Hmm. That'll hit. There we, there we go. And. Ooh, there we go. Oh, psych. No, wait, no. <laughs> or did I go and re I re rolled it? I didn't do the damage. Is that... Oh, right. I was going to say, you just covered me in Cobalt Good. There we go. <laughs> Six points of force damage. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. He, yeah, he's part of his face caves in. <laughs> and I put up my shield to help defend myself against the flying. Yes, yeah, so a, so a bit, of, so a, so a, so a bit, of, a bit of crimson splashes against the shield. Ew. <laughs> that's blood, not me. It's the first <laughs> time I've used my shield. I've used it to just protect myself from getting dirty. And that's actual blood, not Rathena. <laughs> God, that's hard to discern the two. <laughs> Narrative is so much complicated now. <laughs> <laughs> and while this is going on, I go and yell at the, the woman that's wielding the spear to go and get back. <laughs> All right. Persuasion? I'll have you make another persuasion, persuasion check. There we go. That's nice. 19. All right. Yeah, she kind of looks at you out of the corner of her, so of her eye, looks at two kobolds left, sees that there's uh, plenty of people around her, and just kind of gives a nod and start, and takes uh, a singular step back, but still keeping her spear at the ready in case they try to make any uh, any moves towards her. Uh, that kobold is also dead. Take him off the turn order. Crystal! <laughs> um... I move a bit closer to Tiny. All right. Yes, uh, how? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> uh, how closer? 
close as you want. Um, so scary. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Underage! Hey, hey. <laughs> um. Um. You can move up to 30 feet. 25 feet will get you right next to him. Twenty feet. All right, uh, twenty feet. Yep, that'll get you to there. Uh, two squares away from him, right next to the commoner. Um. What are you doing? I just want to use the crossbow, crossbow again. <laughs> right on the one to the north of you. Yes. All right. That's a miss. About freaking time. <laughs> I was going to say, you can snap him a gay there. Yeah. yeah. Where's the grassy knoll guy here? Oh, it's this little 16 year old. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she uh, disengages, backing away cautiously, and then makes a break for the building, which she can just reach. No, I step around the No, Toby, no. There's something to buy us with it. This Roll is a D20. To anywhere. <laughs> Roll me a D20. Um, okay. Uh, you can just, in the chat, you type uh, forward slash R space 1D20. Forward slash R one day twenty. Yes. Make sure there's a space between the R and the one. D yep. No, doesn't work. <laughs> Three. Nope. <laughs> yep. You swing and miss. <laughs> it's all about the numbers game. Yes. Yep. If I was yep. closer a, to him, yep. I would have whacked a, him on the head. Yep. A gentle, a a gentle push of wind. Pushes her just ever so slightly further forward. <laughs> <laughs> I no, was no. waving. I was waving. Totally. Uh, um, was that a wave or a waft? Depends <laughs> on what I roll. <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> I whack that kobold with my... Bonk! <laughs> <laughs> Boop, motherfucker! <laughs> Roll damage just to see what. Oh god! So you basically smack him into next week. We're going to be fighting him in a week's time. Thank you, Larissa. Jesus Christ! Cue home run sound from Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> he had a head. We don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's a magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> For my next trick, I will make this kobold head disappear. I like a. That's great. How are you a better melee fighter than me? God damn it. <laughs> yes, and for, yes, and for this kobold's action, he, uh. <laughs> He has to make a roll here. <laughs> Does he really want to keep on fighting? Did he just see what happened to his friends? <laughs> Natural 20! <laughs> he does! <laughs> oh, shit. Although he does- Although you can see that he- His loincloth is definitely wet now. <laughs> <laughs> as he charges <laughs> toward- As he charges towards the druid. Oh, great. And then decides to change direction and go after the cleric. <laughs> Because oh, he's like, ah, I just saw my guy lose his head. This is a bad idea. Cleric! <laughs> I'm I getting swear. Persona 4 flashbacks. Natural one. <laughs> Went from a 20 to a 1, just like that. Okay, yeah. So he trips over the body of his fallen comrade. He's now prone <laughs> on the ground. Tobias! <laughs> I put away my shield. I don't need that anymore. Two-handed swing. 
<laughs> All right, roll with advantage because he is prone in front of you. Oh, with advantage. <laughs> yeah, so just, Sorry, yeah, just, just roll again, see if you crit. With advantage? Uh, just another flat roll to make the advantage. Because you roll twice and take the higher number. Yep. Fuck yeah, I'll take There's that. the crit! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how do you want to do this? I just walk up and then stab him in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah. Yep, you do just that. He's just like, he, he's like got his snout planted in the dirt, and just as he pulls it out, he pulls it out, and you just position your sword just ever so properly so that when his face just kind of uh, out of the ground, just right onto the back of the sword, and then he just falls straight back into the hole. <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> How much damage was that? Was that 16 damage? Am I reading that right? Uh, two-handed? Yes, that was, uh, actually, that was 20. <laughs> 20 damage, there we go. <laughs> it didn't add in your modifier on that. <laughs> okay, so guy, we should probably go and check out the people that are getting sorted in the barn right about now, because we didn't check it. Yes, uh, um, do, I, we, do, we want, do we want to take a quick break here? Um, I quickly, uh, yeah, we'll take it. Break. Um, oh, I didn't yeah. set up a be right back message. A break message for the TV. <laughs> okay, look, we've got a we've got a stream starting Zoom message that works. It does. Um, so if you just give me one second. Yeah, Distract. back in like five minutes. Okay, so while we do that, um, oh oh. What are you doing? You after something? You can't exactly do much if the the DM indisposed. I'm just checking them all for a pulse. Oh my god! <laughs> the only reason I'm having a roll sleight of hand is to make him not look skeevy. <laughs> <laughs> and now I look super sus going over all the bodies. Like just checking the the giant puddle in front of Larissa for a pulse. I don't think there'll be much there. I, I'm still going to check just think... in case. Plus, not all kobolds wear uh, things that go and actually contain things. That's why I'm going to check. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then I'll have. Uh, is, is someone assisting him in this investigation, or are they just content to leave these dead creatures be? We actually, we, we probably should check them for real in case they've got something of use, because I know they had some weapons and stuff at least. I actually go in there, uh, uh, go in uh, once he's done uh, checking Check on propulsion. the civilians? I will actually go in and uh, lay them to rest, give them last rites, as it were. Because I do, um, even as uh, they were enemies, they they reached the end of their life. Well, before you all do right. that, I'm going to investigate them all first. So I just realised I didn't have roll twenty up on the stream. My apologies. <laughs> it's back now. <laughs> I've got no idea what's going on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. I had something over OBS so I couldn't see. I'm uh, no! to see if they have anything. So this was a case uh, just a radio show today. Oh it's alright. It was only just for the last minute while um, Tobias oh, was no. looting the cobalt, so it's okay. <laughs> ah. Oh, so it was just the last minute. It was just the last minute, it's okay. Okay. Okay, okay good. So we'll, we'll loot the bodies and then we'll call it a break. Okay. I was sure. just getting something ready for the be right back message, that's all. Alright. Yeah, we all saw that, Larissa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I didn't even realise I should have checked OBS, my bad. <laughs> Can I go heal the spear woman? Can we rename this episode to Technical Difficulties? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, we should probably rename it to Slider Fan. There we go. <laughs> Um, what are you talking yeah. about? It's a uh, the pulse episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, do do we um do I find anything on any of the bodies with a twenty one? Uh, <laughs> with a twenty one, you look like you're checking for pulse on all of these. I'll have you roll an investigation to actually look for something this time. Uh, I did twenty one. Oh, that was investigation. Okay, yeah. Uh, you do find about uh, you find in total about uh, twenty five copper pieces. Oh yeah, bitches. 
is rich now. And uh, and about and you find uh, about eight daggers. <laughs> the term dagger being used very loosely. They're more like some of them are just holding pieces of glass. There's maybe one or two that could be serviceable. Okay, so I take the two daggers. Uh, I give one. I, I take one myself, and I give the other one to Crystal. All right. And, uh, Crystal, I, uh, what are you doing? Uh, can I go the with the spear bit? woman? Yeah, I assume that's what you're going to do. Yes, you can go over and uh, and you'll and test cure wounds on her. Uh, opening the door, letting them know that uh, that the wolves are done. I'll go with Crystal in case she needs assistance. Oh. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Meant to click Crystal there. Whoopsie. <laughs> all right. Yep. As you see, uh, the children all uh, the the two boys kind of kind of holding each other uh, in the corner. The uh, the small girl clinging to her mother's leg. The, uh, the, the man now using the spear to, uh, brace himself up on. And, uh, and that is, uh, and that is where we will call break. Okay, we'll have a break. Okay, we'll have break then. Alright, I'll switch over to our stream, but I need to actually reselect the image, so I'll show in a second. But we'll be back right. in a few minutes. Yep. See you back. And we're back. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for uh, waiting for us, guys. So enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah. So we're back after slaughtering a as two single handedly higher wave of cobalts. <laughs> and uh, since uh, all the other elements have been done, I attend to uh, their last rites. And I assist. Because in the balancing of uh, life and death. So. <laughs> yes, yes. It, and it, 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 the Raven Queen does not mourn death. It's simply an acceptance. But you do uh, uh, bequeath that... Uh, the soul informer that these souls have been sent uh, beyond the veil and uh, ask for her to guide them to the uh, onto the astral plane, and uh, as do you, Tobias, to uh, to soon, uh, hoping that they uh, can experience the beauty of uh, passing on into a better existence than what they were forced to endure here. Because let's be honest, this existence was ugly. <laughs> Uh, the last fucking existence for Chris is Yeah, crazy. the last few seconds there was pretty ugly. <laughs> and he died a puff of blood. <laughs> Not blood even a puff. It, literally a cloud. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a, a cloud of red... And Crystal and Nana are inside talking to the, uh, to the civilians that you just saved. Question yes. mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, should I cast healing on the the man who was injured? Uh, you can if you would like to. Yeah. <clears throat> You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering even with three health missing, he's got nine times as many as this guy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Yes, and that will heal him up uh, a bit. His leg is now to the point where uh, the injury closes. It's still a bit sore and such. He's going to need a bit of time to get over the uh, to get over the wound completely, but he can limp a bit faster now. Does that take a spell slot? Uh, it does. Yeah, thought it did. Cool. All right, I'll just update that on my thing. Okay. Yep, I believe that's you out at this point, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. For spills anyway. Yep. <laughs> I still got my staff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the most yeah, That's not any help, hey. Yeah, you've, you've, yeah, you've, you've still got Mog and Hild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Smash. I have divine sense. What's divine sense? 
divine uh, sense through divine means the area around you to see if there is any sort of uh, undead fey or fiends in the area that you can see. But anything behind total cover, you would not be able to sense. So I can't sense. If there's something behind total cover, you can't sense it. If it's just, like, right behind you and you can't see it, but it is, like, right behind you, you can sense that it's there. Okay. It's like if something is, like, enclosed in a building or hiding behind a building completely. All right. All right. I, I shall not try and corrupt that one into a pervy, pervy one. Good to know where you draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I reserve the right to to go back on that, but we'll we'll, we'll be nice for this. I temper my sense of decency and expectation. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's um go in and talk to the people, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah. So she is uh, comforting the crying girl on her leg as the boys kind of shiver in the corner with their father. Uh, they are, uh, she, the woman introduces herself to you, uh, seeing that her name is, uh, Linan Swift, and she's here with her husband, Kuth. Uh, she and her family were locals here in Greenness until the, uh, the attack. Uh, they weren't, sh uh, it came out of nowhere. There was a loud explosion when they came to. Her husband was trapped under rubble. They were able to free him, but his leg was injured. They were making their way to the keep, as it was the main safe place uh, among these people. <laughs> and <laughs> they <clears throat> they ran as fast as they could as soon as they heard the roaring. And they saw panic in the streets, people being dragged off, buildings set ablaze, uh, rubble everywhere, smoke filling the streets, overall pandemonium and chaos. And, uh, and these creatures, whatever they were, chasing after them. They just bring up a point. The beast in the smoke's probably still there while we're burning off these cobalts. <laughs> that is a point. <laughs> it very well may be. Is that you could have just as easily have taken off because uh, do we go and hear any other commotion aside from the burning that's muffled <laughs> sorry what you cut out a bit in the middle of that can we hear anything besides the muffled uh, burning of the buildings nearby uh make a perception check Apparently, I have stuff in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't make anything out at this point. Um. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the high wisdom showing everybody up, as you show. <laughs> uh, you. Yeah. The, the points on the end of the ear help. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear the spider uh, running across the roof. Yeah they, yeah, they act like antennae. <laughs> or is that the antlers? We don't know. <laughs> uh, but no, you are able to hear uh, just general sounds of turmoil in distance. Okay. Can't determine the direction. It seems to be just generally the town is kind of uproarious. Um, how good was the spear the person was holding, or was it a pretty fast spear? Uh, uh, linen spear, uh, it's pretty raggedy, but it, uh, certainly served the job on that one guy. <laughs> Indeed. <Sure. laughs> um, I won't take it from it then. We should probably head off then, or is there something you guys want to do here? I was considering the music just started. Um, I was just turning it on because I remembered I did not start it yet. Ah, fair <laughs> well, I I actually asked if there was anyone else that lives in the village. That... 
Oh, it's a village, I'm gonna say yes. Mm, oh, so there were plenty of... I mean, uh, more for the point of uh, anyone that might have survived whatever happened here. <laughs> yes, well, there were plenty of people in, in the city. Many, They saw several people running by, some being dragged away, some running towards the keep ahead of them, some uh, running off and calling for their family. A uh, few guards trying to fight back against these uh, against these interlopers. They're not sure what became of them, but they're sure that there's uh, other civilians in the area. Okay. I asked uh, them if they have anything they can give us to uh, defend their town. Thanks for the beads, dance. Uh, the only thing she c that uh, they can think of is that uh, is well, she kind of. Actually, I'll have you make a persuasion check here. Persuasion or charisma? Uh, persuasion. It goes off of your charisma. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Eighteen. She looks at you. She looks at her husband. They kind of, uh, just kind of trade glances for a second and tells you that they don't have anything of value on them. As anything they could have used was likely destroyed in the attack, and they have, were kind of more preoccupied with staying alive than getting their belongings out of their house. But if they can get to the keep, they're sure someone there can reward you for uh, for your services. Alright, cool. Let's get to the keep. Alright, you guys ready to move out then? Okay. Yeah. Where are we going? Uh, I think they, they tell you they'll stay, uh, they'll stay back and uh, wait for you to uh, to make sure that the coast is clear before they uh, move up. Okay. Letting you take point in this uh, in this operation. <laughs> I head over this. Okay. All right. Uh, I move over I'll here so that uh, I keep an eye uh, more to the north of uh, where we're going. All right. I'll have. Uh, I'll have Nana roll me a d20. Yep. Am I doing that correctly? No. Oh. Yep, you are. <laughs> well, I mean, debatably. <laughs> Alright, yep. You move through a uh, section of the city streets. Still, uh, still beset by uh, flames, smoke, and other rubble. Uh, you pass by one building as the uh, fires uh, cause the glass to crack and uh, fracture, shattering outward. But uh, you're able to avoid taking any damage from it and uh, carefully navigate by it. Uh, Tobias, I'll have you roll me a d20. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, you managed to come across a large group of uh, kobolds in the street holding several large sacks uh, with their weapons at their hips, talking to a group of hooded figures. You're unable to uh, make out any serious details on them, uh, but they also seem to be carrying sacks with them. They're speaking in the off to the side of one of the streets, and uh, they don't seem to have noticed you. They're about uh, about hundred thirty feet away from you. I shall try to communicate with them by throwing them the bread I picked up earlier. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> they worked with the orcs. I'm not going to try to get them. <laughs> Alright, do you guys want to try and sneak up and do a surprise attack on them? We need to try and find out what's in those sacks. Of course you we want to find out what's in the sacks. It could be people. Could, uh, could be treasure. We could, and uh, it would make it a little bit safer here for them. For the family yeah. and the... Yeah. So, which way are they? Uh, let me just open the map up here.
I'll open a map here. <laughs> oh, I forgot about I have so, I, I have so many. You has many. Yes, I has many maps. <laughs> I has all of the things. The DM of many maps. Yes. Is that like the deck of many cards? Oh god, don't talk to me about the deck of many things, please. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, not a story. The the deck of many things is the story. It 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 is the one item in D D that can quite literally break the entire game. I where do I find it? Is it in one of the sacks? Oh, <laughs> oh that's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Level I think one my character has a new life many... quest. Oh my! <laughs> oh dear, we all did agree to this, so <laughs> we didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I don't find out I... how much money I have. I can't see it in my inventory. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> These are not authorized snuggles. <laughs> I just signed up for fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got plenty of fire around the place, so... You, you can... There. Your copper piece is in with your equipment. It's got copper pieces, silver pieces, electric pieces, gold pieces, and platinum pieces. You should have 25 copper and 15 gold. Ah, yep. Cool, I see. I get 26, don't I? Because I found one on the, on the um, dead body. Ah, yes, right, 26, of course. Woo! That's right, pictures and photos. That is rich now. <laughs> I just right. realized I'm in a team full of girls. I probably should have used that phrasing. Whoops. <sighs> That's right, female dogs and ladies of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, thanks. This is going to be a uh, <laughs> one night open uh, campfire. <laughs> yeah. One eye open, both hands armed. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and lick my wound. Hopefully, that heals it. Okay, what are we doing at the moment? I think we're waiting for the map to be updated, are we? Or? Yeah. Uh, yes. yes, and I just managed. Do so as soon as I can. I'm just drag this over here. My wounded arm. <laughs> <laughs> the, the worst part is I'm in a different tab, so I can't see what he rolled just yet. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it, seems, it seems to close one of your cuts. <laughs> Ravina, you you feel a little jealous. <laughs> I, I'm gonna take that. Actually, I'm gonna put myself up to ten. That's fantastic. I was only no, no, that. it doesn't it doesn't heal you, but it does uh, stop. It's like that uh, one thing that burdens Alice Alice in Wonderland. That's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I don't know. I don't think it beats kitten in the last session, gurgling on her own blood, just laughing. Yes. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes. While clinging to the leg of a bear. No, she wasn't even on the leg. She just got whacked by it, and then just like. Oh. <laughs> no, no. I was gurgling fiercely. Yes, <laughs> and, fiercely. and giggling uh, and giggling through your subconscious. I need someone that can rename my ability from uh, lay on hands to lay on tongue. Whenever you get hurt, I'm just going to lick your point and point clean. <laughs> and here he said he wasn't going to pervert that one. <laughs> nope, nope, too late, done. <laughs> well, that was good. Yeah, I'm staying away from that. <laughs> That's fine. You come begging back at 1 HP. I, I can wait. <laughs> okay. I did just use all my. He says to the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did just use it all on the big cat, but you know, yeah, yeah. you kind of wasted that. <laughs> you've, dug, you've dug your own tiny grave here. That's fine. It was totally worth it. <laughs> yeah.
Alright, so, you are all on the map as follows, and if I have not moved it yet, I shall do so now. Woo! Uh, Positive Chimp wants to know the characters, um, so might as well introduce it. So, starting from the left, we have Larissa, who's playing Nana. She is a druid who has a fucking OP staff for some reason. <laughs> Um, we have Blokin, our sniper wizard, who manages to hit freaking a cobalt from 50 yards through a window <laughs> through smoke and still get a headshot. Uh, we've got uh, Spice, who's a gnome dwarf paladin, um, who's a bit, he doesn't remember what race he is. He can't hit the wide side of a barn with a sword. <laughs> and <laughs> we have Elena, our um, cleric, who is obsessed with fire. And... Again, can fucking hit a cobalt in the side of the uh, between the eyes at fifty paces blindfold. <laughs> Who is this oh. Elena that you keep uh, referencing? Crystal. Sorry. Character Crystal. names. Crystal. Crystal. Yeah. Yeah. And also, Rav- Ravina is not a wizard; she's a warlock. Yes. That too. Um, so to answer um, your question, we have a druid, warlock, paladin, and cleric. That's what I just did. <laughs> yep. I'm yep. sorry. The, yep. yep. Druid, Warlock, Paladin, Cleric, who are half elf, human, uh, <laughs> quote unquote, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> gnome, and human. Yep. Respectively. Well, do you kind of really need to put uh, Paladin and then uh, qu- uh, question mark? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Is a quote unquote paladin question mark. He's, he's so drunk, parenthesis, he we're, yeah. What race he is, right? yeah, parenthesis, we're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> he's better at talking his way out of fights than actual fighting. Should have been a bard. Pretty Full much. forecaster party. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. So we should probably get. Um, oh, look at these people look different. We should probably get yeah. our game face on. Mm. Alright, um, should we roll initiative or... Oh no, we haven't been detected yet, have we? Not yet, you haven't. So, I think we should try and do a surprise attack. Do we have any bomb type attacks we can use? Because that will be perfect. We did. We did. Where's our... Damn it. Sorry? Um, I was going to say, you yeah, could fire would have been amazing there. She's um, a Nav Odin fire, she has Thunder Wave. I, yeah. yeah. I can't well, cast any more spells, yeah, I did. Um, I do have Frostbite, but I think that's more one. That's single, yeah, that's single, single target. Yeah. Crystal does have Burning just... Hand, but she has to be kind of close to get that. We may yeah. actually, um, uh, and this is just uh, from uh, my perspective, it may be uh, wise just to go, even just picking uh, off a few uh, from the front, uh, even if we don't get the group. We could try that. I'm thinking we could also try, heaven forbid, get Crystal to sneak close to them <laughs> to do a lay on hands. Crystal and sneak hands, does not seem to work together. <laughs> yeah, she's either going to go up there and take them all out in one hit, or she's going to fall trip over a rock after the first foot. Mm-hmm. Well, you can never walk a foot and find out. Did, did, what do you reckon, Crystal? Did you want to try it? And draw the yeah, attention? It, I would say yeah, no. Yeah, Chris, yeah, Crystal takes one one step forward. There is no rock. <laughs> <laughs> one more step. <laughs> All right. Um, do you just want to take one from a uh, from range? Because I've got some javelins I can join in with. Yeah, we'll take them uh, from a range, and uh, that gives right. us a uh, uh, time to go and uh, deal with them uh, one at a time. All right. Well, let's all line up one at a time. Uh, in a row, and we can all pick a target one at a time. Alright, I'll have each of you roll me a stealth check then, as you're standing out in the street, just to see if they notice you. Okay, and Uh-oh. should I be doing that as well, since I'm kind of uh, already set? <laughs> well, you, you've all been standing out in the street saying this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Talking about, hey, that's, what, what are you going to do? And well, like, apparently I am not stealthy enough. Bloody oath. Alright. Moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a three. 
<laughs> Crystal. <laughs> I told you. She takes one more step and trips over a rock. <laughs> it's and the rock over again. I think the rock trips over, and and the rock trips trips over her. A of armor and knocks armor all over the ground. Apparently. No, oh. she's just like, shh, shh, be cool. come on, we gotta go. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> it's dishonored all. It's it's dishonored all over again. Yeah, she was not stealthy in that at all. And it and all right. All this I time. tried. So we well, should probably just try and quickly get uh, an attack off before. Yep. They have I'm noticed you. There. I will yeah, give you your attacks, but they no longer have advantage as they are no longer surprised. They take this turn That's to drop fine. their back and draw their weapons. That's fine. Right. I'm going to I'm throw attacking a attacking this one over here. Hmm? Um, I will attack this one. We haven't okay. got turn order yet, have we? No, I'm just setting that up for when this actually goes down. Okay. Okay. Alright, so... Are we getting a turn while they draw the weapons? Okay! Or? Yes. Alright. I think I missed. With yes, my you own. get your attacks while you throw their weapon. Or while they draw yeah. their weapon. <laughs> yes, the Eldritch Blastness. Oh. Ja the javelin does hit, however. And damage one. Okay. Frostbite, he has to make a constitution save. And which one are you frostbiting? Um, I'll go the one behind. The one Tobias is attacking. Alright, behind? Or to the right of? This one In here. This one? Attacking this one. Okay, yeah, that's to the right end. You said sorry, behind, I, and it was I, to the I, right I, end. I was thinking it was facing the other, um, the human, sorry, all of the other creatures. Yeah, yeah, I get you. <laughs> just needed to, just needed to clarify to him. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. All right, let me just pull up this guy's sheet because he has to make a saving throw. We use my javelins more often. Uh, hold a three. Oh, now he takes, uh, he takes one point of damage. There we go. And this one took eight. So he is down to the floor. Because it's piercing, does it go and hit that guy as well? Not nah, javelin stuck in the first one. I got. <laughs> And especially not without a critical. Yeah. Well, I was close. I was 19. I mean, jeez. Well, I, I was being generous. I let you hit outside of the range. Technically, yeah, you could have gotten about 15 feet closer before you could hit him with that. Ah, uh, okay. I can move I'll let you do one. Nah, I'll let, let you do this once. Ah, uh, thank you. Didn't know. Yeah, you didn't know. <laughs> cool. Right, so, uh, then the... <laughs> see if Sharpshooter can do it. And like kill them all with one fucking shot. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> nope. Nope. God damn right. it, Crystal. All right. Now we're rolling initiatives. Okay. All right. Well, that's quite the opposite of last time. <laughs> it went from good to terrible. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Ah, did it click it? No, there we go. Alright. Well, this guy was going to go. He's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> so now I gotta get uh, turns for these guys. Let's get this going. Fantastic. Love it. Now I just yeah. used the cable on Sony. Okay, so at the top of the round is uh, Tobias this time. Hell yeah, about freaking time. Um, <laughs> I just used the javelin, so I take it from 5 down to 4? Yeah, just keeping track of your resources. 
Yep. Cool. All right. So I will move forward 15 feet. All right. I will javelin this dude. All right. Roll it. Interesting music. <laughs> like it. <laughs> yeah, I just have it set to the combat playlist. It shuffles. <laughs> Seven, unfortunately, misses. And I'm down to three javelins. Um, cool. That's the end of my turn. All right. Bring this to the kobold. Going to a few steps forward, and then attempt to use his sling and chuck a rock at you. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Uh, twenty-two to hit. Fuck. <laughs> that is uh two points of bludgeoning damage. Down to what, seven. Was that about bobbing and weaving? Hey, I bobbed, so I just forgot to weave. <laughs> <laughs> well, the loot is out in the back. I don't know how to bob and weave. I know a bob who has a weave. Yeah. <laughs> I was out there, I was just in the middle of the field weaving a new scarf. Leave me alone. <laughs> and the, this guy is going to attempt to do much of the same. Well, 12, that does not hit. And another cold. Stepping over his, uh, the corpse of his comrade. Rolls of nine. Crystal. Um, I'll step forward. Alright. About how, uh, how much? Um, a little bit past tiny. And so about twenty feet. Yeah. Okay. Can I use burning hands? They are just out of your range for it right now. Hmm. Uh, if, you move two, if you move two spaces up, you can get three of them. Is that what you want to do, or do you want to just stay toward... No, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. So, oh, Burning Hands. Favorite spell? Well, favorite first level. <laughs> Alright, so they have to make six saves or take uh, seven fire damage. Reduce damage if they pass. One of them not 20s. One of them not 1s. Two of them not 1. So, uh, these two just are very, very dead. <laughs> 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 And the other one takes seven reduced half to three, so this one's still alive, though barely. <laughs> These ones are not even close, they are very crispy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nom noms. No. I'm going to pocket a um, cobalt arm when I close. <laughs> Maybe a little thigh. Cobalt thighs. Ew. This is not new to me because this is exactly the same thing that my first party who ran this campaign did. They tried to eat kobolds. <laughs> yeah, see? Well, I need some healing. I need to eat them to get some health back. I foresee uh, murder hobos on the horizon. Do you foresee them in the mirror? Because I certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Turn, <laughs> uh. Cultist. What does he have? Is that where they are? <laughs> yeah, well, it says their name beneath them. It does? Yeah, it says cultist. Oh. It says your character's name's underneath your tokens, or it should. I can only see it on, um, on ours, not on the enemy ones for some reason. Hmm. Oh well, I suppose that's for the best then. But yeah, they are, they are cultists. <laughs> so, uh, Yes, yeah, so they the uh, one runs up to Crystal and is going to attempt to hit her with a scimitar. 
Natural 20. Uh, that's seven points of slashing damage. Uh, that knocks her down to one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, these guys don't mess around. Nana! Yes, um... I will move forward a bit and attack that cultist with Frostbite. Alright, go for it. Uh, how far can I, can I move ahead of uh, Tiny? Uh, yeah, you can move up to six squares. Okay. So, 30 feet. Um, yeah, and I'll attack that cultist with Frostbite. Okay, he has to make a constitution saving throw. He does not. Go ahead and roll it. Sweet. Alright, so he takes five points of cold damage and has disadvantage on his next attack. Okay. Next runner up. Just enough to get to you, Nana, and he will attempt to attack you with a scimitar. Of course. Uh, 16. Does that match your armor class? Armor class is 15. Alright, so let's exceed so that it is a hit, so you take 6 points of slashing damage. Me Next. Five hit points, yeah. Next one uh, cannot move up to the point where he can attack, so instead he's going to dash, get into range. Same with the next. And Rathena. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, we, we still have another character? Right, sorry. Jeez, so slow, god. I move up, and I actually go and use Chill Touch on the, uh, the cultist oh. here. Chill Touch is actually a ranged spell. Really? Yes, really? it projects a spectral hand that uh, goes out to a distance. That's cool. But you're, you're thinking of Shocking Grasp. Yes, yes, I believe so. So, Chill Touch. Alright, roll attack. That'll hit. Now, the damage. There we uh, go. Eight point, yeah, eight points of necrotic damage. Yeah, there is a rotted handprint on his neck now. <laughs> <laughs> he is very, very roughed up. And this is the last kobold. He takes a step forward, tries to chuck a rock at Crystal. <laughs> He's as resourceful as I am. I don't know. Why me? Rocks are crystal's only weakness, though. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, was just enough to knock her down. <laughs> well, she was already at low hit points. Oh, one. Oh, no. She had one hit point left. Mm. Conk thud. Alright, I'll, I'll go give her, um, uh, was it RPA or something, or is it? <laughs> I don't think any of us have any healing life. spells available either. Yep. Right Tiny. Alright, what's that little thingy on this one mean again? It says... Uh, he has disadvantage on his next attack. Uh, on his next attack. Yeah. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to attack. Okay, as you leave the as you leave the combat range, this one is going to try and take an attack of opportunity at you. Yep. <laughs> uh, rolls twelve. So you're fine. Yep. Now I'm going to attack this one. One handed with my shield. All right. I assume you're sword? attacking. Yeah, I assumed you meant you were attacking with a long sword, not trying to bash yeah. him with a shield. No, not yet. With a sword. Eleven just misses, unfortunately. Bugger. 
and that will end my turn. All right. Uh, this one is going to run up and attack the druid. Oh no. Uh, rolls 10 though, so misses. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> uh, Crystal needs to make a death saving throw. 18, that's one success. Still at risk, but she's a step closer to, stab to stabilizing at least. Alright, this cultist is then going to run up and attack Tiny. With disadvantage. That's good, buddy. Bring it. Five. That misses. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, that'll bring us to Nana. Uh, I will attack the one north of me with my quarterstaff. Alright. Go for it. Yeah, I think that'll hit. <laughs> Down. <laughs> oh dear, that's great. I imagine you two are just like back to back at computers right now, and whenever that happens, he just turns around and looks at you and goes, For fuck's sake! Yeah, he's looking at yeah, me over the computer much. screen. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, I assume you are doing this one handed or two handed? Um, uh, may as well two handed because I don't have a shield, so. Yeah. Well, it well it actually doesn't matter anyway because you rolled the same number. So okay. yeah, six points of damage. <laughs> six points of damage to that guy. Awesome. All right, he's going to attempt to hit you back. Of course he is. <laughs> I've only got five hit points, so this ain't good. Uh, thirteen. That'll miss you. No, thank God. <laughs> the next cultist is uh. <laughs> A bit pissed, so he's going to move away. You can take an attack of opportunity at him if you'd like. Um, yes, yeah, sure. All right, roll attack. Um, do I just click on the quarter staff or something else? Yeah. Uh, you attack with whatever you wanted to attack with. Oh, okay. So long as it. Stop that! <laughs> 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 what are you? <laughs> Very did we roll damage. Like water stuff. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't matter what damage you roll, he goes down. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next one right in front of you is going to try and hit you as well. Because you're the closest one to him. Yep. Roll the six, of course. Rathena. Okay. I cast a blast on this one. Alright. Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Woo. Roll damage. Uh, there we go. <laughs> 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 He's still standing. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, though you did just take like his entire cheek off with that bolt of force. <laughs> like you can just see his, like you can just see his teeth on the side of his face, and he just goes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? I attempted uh, to uh, try to scare them off by yelling uh, to make it seem like there's others that were coming to help. Okay. Persuasion? Mm. Or would it be uh, intimidation? Mm. Oh, say it's intimidation. Maybe deception, maybe. Because, hmm, yeah, that's kind of a layered check. Okay. I'll say make a deception and an intimidation roll. Okay. 
deception and intimidate. Okay. All right. All right, you. All right, he looks at you, clutching his, <laughs> his face, and then looks back to one of the cultists, who just looks at him, kind of looks around a bit, and just says, "Well, we best finish this quickly then." <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this kobold is going to uh, try and trick a rock at the gnome. Trick <laughs> <laughs> a rock. Trick a rock at the rock gnome. Just realized. <laughs> nom nom. Uh, misses though. You can rock nom, it's just turn. You, you just adopted the rocks. I was born in the rocks. I didn't see sunlight until I was a fully grown oh, man. Child which was nom. probably, which was probably four days ago. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He came out of the cave. The... Hmm, he... What? I was gonna say, with my long sword, I saw it says up to two creatures within five feet, so I can hit two people. What? On my long sword, the description says up to two creatures within five feet. Oh, that's just the description that it puts in there by default. That's not actually there. Oh, so I can't hit two people at once? No, because otherwise it would say that your uh, your long sword swings in a sixty foot cone around yourself. Right, okay. My quarter staff uh, says that as well, and as does some of my other spells. I just had a look. So I'm going to attack this dude who tried to kill me. Okay, Game go for it. With my long sword. Go for it. Fuck. <laughs> I see a trend here. <laughs> I should just swap back to my devil right here. Yeah, those you could actually just poke someone with. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Eh, hey, you get, hey, you rolled a natural 20 and killed that one guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're getting... Yeah, you're two for two right now. Uh, it's a kobold's turn. He's gonna try and, uh... Hit the druid again. Yep. Can't roll tonight! <laughs> <laughs> Another death saving throw. No. Yeah, I really can't roll tonight. <laughs> Poor Chris. That's that's one failure, and one success. <laughs> All right, cultist Can hacking I... at the gnome. Why not you? <laughs> All right. Uh, that's uh, nineteen to hit. That will hit your armor class, so that's a, another six points of damage to the gnome. Uh, that'll bring us to Nana. Okay, um, I probably will swing at the one north of me again with my quarter staff. Alright. <laughs> Oh god, god damn it! I would go heal you, Crystal, but I don't have any um, abilities. I was going to say, are you... but you're obviously only half. <laughs> I thought you were half elf, not half god. <laughs> Maybe I am half elf and half god. <laughs> I was thinking of homebrewing huntresses. I don't need to anymore. <laughs> We found Nora! <laughs> <laughs> Nora! If ever Nora was... Uh, if Nora grew up in the wild and was just kind of the opposite of the social butterfly she is, this is this is it. Yep. <laughs> well, well, it was about to be his turn, but he's dead now. <laughs> uh, the guy next to him has a turn, though. Uh, 14 will just miss you. Awesome. Alright, Ruthina. Okay, I am going to use Eldritch Blast on this one. Okay. There we go. Battle hit. 
And seriously, three points of force damage. <laughs> That'll do it. Okay. Awesome. You only had one. Only had one point left. Yay. All right, uh, Tobias, you should have marked your damage off. Um, and uh, before I end my I... turn, I go and make another intimidation to go and try to scare off the, the last one. All right, how are you wording this? I am going to uh, uh, try to uh, employ uh, deception by saying that uh, the knights uh, of the local... Uh, Lord, are, are about to arrive. Okay, yeah, roll your deception. Deception? Okay. There we go! Alright. Just gonna screenshot this. <laughs> How much did I lose, by the way? Uh, you lost six. Yeah, I got one left. Fuck. Seems to be. No. Yeah. Yeah. We're all a bit low on health right now. Just give me a second here. <laughs> okay. To crop this, send this so that no one knows I'm, so that everyone knows that I'm not cheating. Mm -hmm. I'm posting this in the D and D Discord. Okay. Yep. I have matched your natural 20. Ah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> that That's thing. funny. Mm. So, he hears you. He's still on the fence on whether he believes you or not. Hmm. Part of him does. Part of him doesn't. That'll bring us to the kobold, who's going to keep throwing rocks at the gnome. I'm just going to show you the stream as well. Uh, one second. Uh, that is... Did that work? Nope, that didn't work. <clears throat> that is a 17 to hit that just misses you. <laughs> just hangs off your shield. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. But it's your turn. Yeah, the deception didn't work positive. I was trying to show you the screenshot of what um, the, the GM sent us, but no, it didn't work. <laughs> How much does a health potion heal? Ah, I was waiting for you guys to remember you had those. Yeah, I, I never <laughs> forgot. Oh, yeah! Uh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, was I was over here. I can't heal you. <laughs> You believe. can. You can pour. What? You can pour a healing potion down her throat. Okay. I'll, I'll get to you when I can, Crystal. Don't worry. How much does okay. it do that? Uh, that is two d four plus two. So I roll a two d four. Was it? No, two d. Add two. That's what it heals for. Take that in with a forward slash. Before the R, and that'll roll it. Okay, you heal four hit points. Cool. I'll give me a love a little bit. <laughs> and am I still able to make a attack or not? Uh, no, drinking the potion takes an action, actually. Yep. I'm going to try and intimidate the dude then by roaring at him. All right, make an intimidation check. <laughs> By going, like a little Groot, I am Groot roll. <laughs> With a 12. 
I am Tiny. I am Tiny. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. <laughs> and that is his response. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, that works to the kobold, who is still trying to hack away at this druid who is apparently <laughs> fucking immortal, become a <laughs> demigod. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, twenty-one. That'll hit. Oh, bugger. For okay, three points. Three points. Okay, I'm down to two then. Finally hit. Minimum damage. <laughs> <laughs> ah! This elf, half elf, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal death save. Another six. Two failures. Ooh. One more, she's gone. Oh no. Alright. I'll bring us to a cultist who's going to swing at the man who has just clarified that he is tiny. <laughs> Thirteen, that misses. Hell yeah. Because you are tiny, he just over no, he because he you are tiny, he just overcuts it. <laughs> Nana. Um I'm going to try and heal Crystal with a potion. Okay. Move over to her. Well, you're 2d4. You. Uh, can I roll? Uh, can I move here? Uh, you can, but you will take an attack of opportunity. <sighs> as you leave the kobold's melee range. Um, I'm going to have to either way, but if I move here, don't I? Uh, no, there you won't have left his range. Okay. All right, cool. All right. And how do I do what you typed in the chat before, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, just type that in, put a forward slash before the R, and then hit enter. Alright. Mm -hmm. You heal her back to max. Oh, sweet. And then I'm probably going to get knocked out because I've got me. It's going to be a cycle. Alright, Crystal, you're up. Well, <laughs> Well it's, a, well, it's a cycle until someone runs out of potions. That too. <laughs> Rathena. Okay. And I shall go and use uh, Eldritch Blast on this one right here. All right. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen. That'll hit. And only three damage. <laughs> yep. But, just like last time, three damage is enough to kill, because it only had one. Yay! Okay, and in the last, uh, my last action, I, last, uh, part of my, uh, action, I try to go and make a gesture to go and wave and make it seem like, uh, there's a, a group that's, uh, approaching from over here. Okay. <laughs> make, <laughs> make it a, make it, make a performance check. Performance? Ooh. Yeah. Yes. For fuck's yes. sake. <laughs> Eighteen. All right. All right. The uh, the kobold in the back here is still readying another stone, just not caring. But the cultist is that is kind of turned to sweat profusely, looking like back and forth between the alleyway and his current target. The kobold is going to uh, take a step back and. <laughs> Try to throw a rock at the, uh, at, at the, at the druid. <laughs> Eleven. Misses. Tiny. Okay, I'm going to... Is this the one? It's going to be two-handed throw against that fucker. Um, I'm tempted to use a javelin, but no, I won't. I'll use my longsword, two-handed. Okay. At the cultist. Fuck you. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Yeah. Off comes one of his legs. <laughs> <laughs> that bloody time I got him. Yeah. Yeah, you got him in the end. Yay. It only took about 30 slashes. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the one slash that gets him. It's the other 30 that distract him. Exactly right. That's what it was. It was, it was strategy all along. Um, yeah, sure. We'll go with that. For my last action, um, 
I'll roar at the last cobalt again. Do another intimidation thing. Make an intimidation with advantage because you've killed every other one of its allies. Uh, yeah, so I point my sword at him and just go, just roar. I is tiny. <laughs> he has spoiled himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Crystal, you're conscious again. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting a yay, but she's like, finally. No one's thought about me. Please. God, I, this, God I wish I wasn't dying on this potion digging into my ribcage. Oh. <laughs> oh, if only there was something I could do. <laughs> Alright, I assume you're going to stand up then. That'll take uh, half your movement. Anything yes. else? <laughs> um... Fire a crossbow at the <laughs> remaining cobalt. I was expecting a sacred flame, to be honest, but yeah, definitely. Go, <laughs> go, 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 crossbow. And it hit! <laughs> and it is just enough to kill him. Woohoo! Well done, well done. Yeah. yeah, goes down for most of the fight, picks up the last kill, just like. Vengeance! Boom! <laughs> Good thing, because he was about to turn tail and roll. Ah. And that is quite literal, because they do have tails. Cool, I'm just going to go into this trough and just bathe myself for a while and just lick my wounds. <laughs> you jump into the trough and it is, oddly enough, knee height for you. <laughs> the, wa the water, however, is not clean. You, the, it stings very badly. Ow. ow. It's just like when I pee. <laughs> ow. It. It's like, ow, burn, ow, skin, ow. Okay. okay. We should well, probably well, try and search these guys and hopefully might, one of them might have a um, potion. I'll go and check uh, the ones closest to me and uh, you check uh, the two to the north and the east of me. No. Okay. Did you guys want to check yours? Uh, yeah. That nah, we're all useless. All blind. <laughs> <laughs> With a natural one! <laughs> yes, you are! <laughs> she finds the rock that was thrown at her. <laughs> No, she's just, she, it's like, she's trying to pull, examine this thing, and she's pulling, like, little pebbles out of her face. No. <laughs> like, yeah. ow. Mm -hmm. Alright, we, we should probably do something about our health. Um, how much yeah. healing can you do, Cleric? Uh, her health is, uh, Crystal's health is max. <laughs> um, can, does she have any healing spells left? Uh, she does not. She used her last spell slot on Burning Hands. Bugger. She does have her healing potion, though. Lewis How's this with Nina? Nana might need that. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to her. Thank you. You're welcome! <laughs> I'm at five hit points. How much are you on, Tina? I'm actually not damaged. I'll fuck you, whatever. <laughs> Right, I'll roll for I think they kept out of the worst of it. So. Uh, it's 2d4. Did I do that right? No. Nope. Oops. Uh, yeah. 2d4. It's 2d4. Plus 2. Plus 2. Plus two. There you go. There we oh, go. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so, full health? Uh, plus 9. 9? You hold on to yours for now, Rusty. No, I've still got five health left for now. Yeah. And the highest armor class. Yeah, and 18. So we might need it. If I go down, then you can use it. Yeah. 
<laughs> and at this point, uh, from behind one of the buildings, uh, the, you see uh, Lena poke her head out. Is it clear? Yes, it's um, clear. More or less, just start look at the freaking pile. Yeah, watch where you step. Blood clouds that freaking Bruce's left everywhere. <laughs> you can see it. She she pushes that. She pushes back the head of one of her children, trying to take a peek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you just see the head just kind of go out like whoop it's like, oh <laughs> the bags oh yeah I, I, ah. check, I checked the bags I will carry yeah, you see uh, various assorted odds and ends and trinkets and shiny things you're not sure of the value at this moment uh, still a lot of carnage going on I I um is there any gold in there? Like gold coins and stuff? Certainly could be. Do I need a roll of investigation for that? Well, you could. I'm just going to check the bags for a, um, a uh, heartbeat. That's <laughs> 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 as much as I expected to do. <laughs> Sorry, the bag I'm... moves. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and instinctively you drop it. Okay. okay. And uh -oh. while they're doing this, I actually go and ahead I, over. And out here. comes a cat that scampers off into the distance. <laughs> hey! I told you it was worse healing the cat. It the is cat's not back the same cat. It, it <laughs> totally is. It, it totally is. <laughs> well, as that's going on, <laughs> I actually go in check over this way and look to see if there's anything happening here and up here and over here and uh, i'm actually going to take out some of the valuables out of the bag and pop it uh i'll have you make a dexterity saving throw Rudina. okay well that was horrible <laughs> Yes, actually it was. <laughs> and you are able to just dodge out of the way to avoid the brunt of the impact as a large tree collapses on the road near you when you approach this place. You take five points of bludgeoning damage as it, as it knocks into you, but you're able to avoid the brunt of it. Okay. Okay. But I might look up to the north and see if there's anything up here. Uh, you can see in the distance a very large stone building with several figures running towards it. Okay. Do I look friendly? Uh, it's too far away to tell. You guys want to check the house? Is there anything of use that we could use? Um... I... Look inside this house. See if there's any <laughs> for anyone in there. Make a perception check. Oh, lovely. Uh, hoisting yourself up to the window, you peer through. Can't see anyone in there. I think maybe we should head and... north. Right, let's head north. Was there anything uh, that was over here and he uh, that, uh, uh, no, nothing of note, just the general flames and carnage. Okay. Well, I return to the group. All right, and the uh, and the family is uh, quickly falling behind you. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Zina, I'll have you roll me the last d20. d20? Okay. Ooh. All right, 13. Yes, you, uh, you were able to catch the glimpse of, uh, a pair of, uh, a pair of individuals, uh, two fairly young ladies, uh, uh, hand in hand, both of them covered in, uh, in in uh, small cuts and scrapes, uh, one of which is covered in black smoke and uh, and charred bits of clothing. 
uh, rushing towards this uh, great stone structure. You uh, you follow after them, and you see the guards uh, at the gates of this large structure ushering people in. Come, hurry on, quickly! Quickly, that thing may come back! Okay. And then they, uh, they start ushering to you. Okay, I go in there, get the group to go and follow suit. Alright, as you... Yes, and as you all pick up the pace. This is what we need to find our fans. I'm back, music. <laughs> oh, we, we forgot the. Oh, it's the battle wind music. Fanfare. Gold. Which probably we would have uh, lost uh, if we didn't go and at least do things a little bit creatively. <laughs> you mean cheat? <laughs> <laughs> Give me one moment here. I wouldn't exactly call it uh, cheating to have Nora on the party. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, Nana. What? Oh. Come inside you. I'll whack you with my staff. Hey, hey, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you can do with that staff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Rathena, Rathena. In party fighting. <laughs> hey, hey, Crystal. I'm not going to go what? inside you, you're underage. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, underage now, but technically not in that day. He's like freaking a spinster by now. Being 16 and unmarried. Hold the dishonor. Can I just go closer to Nana? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe. Okay. Leave those us two, alone. Leave those two alone. <laughs> leave those two alone. They're, they've got leave their own thing alone. going on. Let <laughs> them go. We'll wander down over here. Protect no, me from the strange man. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. I know what happened to Rathena when she went for a walk. She fucking nearly killed herself into the tree. <laughs> I'm just going to go into this house and eat their porridge. Oh, jeez. One's going to be a bit too hot. The other one's going to be too cold. Just right. What are you talking about? The last one is going to be full of glass. <laughs> when, I, I got golden hair. So goldy glass. Does that make me Yang? I'm Yang. No, it makes you Thai. <laughs> which makes sense because you're about, because you're trying to. Yeah, which makes you trying to impregnate the entire team. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty. Pretty accurate. Yeah, I'll give you that. Oh, no. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that's unfortunate. I just realized my character was yellow. Oh, I am Yang with the colors as well. Red, white, blue, black, and... Yeah, Green. ruby colors have been a thing for a while in this campaign. <laughs> I know. I, I, although it's not ruby, it's... Wobra? <laughs> Will be or would be? Will be. W B Y R. Alright. So, as you rush towards the keep. Mm -hmm. Right. A, you see, uh, you're, you all hear a faint sound in the distance from behind you. Okay. <laughs> and then gr quickly grows louder and louder, and as you all turn and look over your shoulder, you see massive pair of shadowy things moving through oh, <laughs> through no. this fog cloud, coming straight towards you. As a strange foreign voice rings out.
as they form a, a very massive blue scaled dragon peeks through the clouds bearing down upon you and lets out a monstrous roar at all of you oh god without even taking a second look you all rush forward at full speed towards towards the gate <laughs> and as the, immediate, as the guards immediately call back close the gates now as they rush inside Tiny, just doing an Indiana Jones-style slide under the gates as they <laughs> slam shut behind you with a large metallic clang! All of you rest, gasping for breath desperately, with, with a swift family inside with you. And that's where we're at for tonight's session. So, Rafina, about that health potion. Dot, dot, dot. You're inside. You can get a uh, medical attention. <laughs> okay. I love the music. <laughs> I do. That's good. Thank you, Battle Bards. <laughs> I'm thinking I should have just thrown the freaking the bread at the dragon and try and talk him down. I don't think that would work. <laughs> that would not have worked at all. <laughs> <laughs> You would have been gone. <laughs> and, and some burnt bit of bread. It, it's just how he likes it. Uh, it wouldn't have even been enough to pick his teeth with. <laughs> Not to mention you already threw it and lost it. Remember, you tried to throw it at someone else. Yeah, I think I'm at it before. That's I think that's just—I think that's just his solution to everything. Oh, there's a pack of wolves. Throw food at it. Oh, there's a pack of cultists. Throw food at it. Oh, there's a giant dragon about to eat me. Throw a burnt <laughs> chunk of bread the size of my thumb at it. That'll help. You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> Here, have a Snickers chomp. <laughs> oh, I still had the half button I didn't use. Please, yeah, please have. Yeah. He's like, please, sir, can I have my legs back? I need it to run from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already short enough as it is. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, uh, keep. Ooh. So someone mentioned something about a reward. <laughs> that they did. Mm -hmm. And as this is the end of the session, I will have to pull out a calculator and do some math here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so each of you will be gaining uh, 106 experience. Woo! Woo! You're a third of the way to level two. Yay! Okay. Hmm. Good stuff. So I'm guessing that if I had to uh, scare the, that last cultist off and they took off running. That probably would have added me at least a little bit more, wouldn't it? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Did you get any um, gold or um, health potions or anything? Uh, you did manage to get... Um, did manage to scrape uh, a few coins out of the bags. So you managed to scrape about six silver from one of the bags before the cat jumped out of it. <laughs> and is there any? Cat as I say that, I, as I say that, six experience pops up on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there a guard or something there? Uh, there is. <laughs> as it's already one a.m., I think we should end here. I was yeah. going to say, I was going to try and do a persuasion check to see if he can give us a health potion. We're already finishing gold. the game, the Where's session. They wanted more loot. Get more loot next time. We're going to make this a regular thing now. I know. But I wanted to try and get the, gold, the guard to give me more gold and money. And I need health potions because I'm really dead. That's right. That's good fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was you, you <laughs> you were you are ne you aren't nearly dead. The Ravina was very nearly dead. Had she failed that by one more, she would have been crushed. 
Yes, yes, that would yeah. be very... And... Dead again! <laughs> <laughs> Though I... I am kind of fun, uh, find it funny that I was the one with the least combat damage in this uh, session. Yeah, in combat you're just like, nope, I'm just gonna stay over here. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> <laughs> They're all warning shots when I'm holding the staff. Yeah, I just messed with my staff. <laughs> messed oh, with? Not. No, that's that's just tight. No, you, yeah, yeah, you, you, you did some messing, all right. <laughs> That's like Thor that's saying, I just tap people with my hammer. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure you I'm, I'm just giving it a little love tap, head explode. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, staff needs a name now. I to come up with something. Th that is its name, head explode. Head explode. Blue black. <laughs> Oh goodness. Well that was fun, I enjoyed it. And we're gonna um keep doing these streams as well. So probably on a Saturday rather than a Sunday, but we'll just see in case Chris gets called into work again. Yep. Yep, we'll figure it out. But it'll definitely be on a weekend, uh, around this time. Okay. Yeah, what whether it's weekly or ever, or every other week, we'll figure yep. it out. We'll figure it yeah. out. But that's I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining, though, guys. Yes, thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, Shino, for modding for us as well in the chat. Yes, you the MVP. <laughs> and thank you all for uh, putting up with all of our technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> the one map I didn't have set up. Uh, so good. <laughs> Still, we did and pretty good for uh, the session. Yeah. We'll have to set up a um, Call of Colusi one as well sometime soon. Yeah. But, uh, maybe to join us as well. Yeah. Well, maybe once we've finished this campaign. Yeah. Anywho. Yes. We'll oh, we history. can we can do one shots outside of it. It's just a matter of scheduling it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you guys for joining. And yeah, we'll see you in the next stream. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.